But we begin at 5.30 with Summit County's attempt to help artists rebound as shows are shut down. That community now offering up grants to make sure people can keep creating. And as News 5's Bob Jones explains, while leaders know it's not enough, they felt they had to do something. Maya Nicholson is a theater and film artist. Directing, acting, writing, she does it all. Her latest project, Say It Loud, is a work in progress play based on stories of racial inequality in Akron. As people of color, we want to make sure that every voice is heard. The idea born out of the death of George Floyd. We don't want to get stuck in the past. We want to live in the present. We want to find out what the issues are. We want to ask the questions of how do we fix this. But creativity has been curtailed during the pandemic. Many Summit County artists struggling with show after show getting canceled. I would say about 85% of my income uh, is gone. Jazz guitarist Dan Wilson knows the feeling. Gigs he normally books around the world have been called off, costing him about 75% of his livelihood. He started online lessons to keep money coming in. It's been devastating. And, you know, I know some people who, who are just not working at all. You know, just 100% of their income has just been slashed. But now there is a new $50,000 relief fund through GAR Foundation and Arts Now in Summit County to help artists impacted by the pandemic. Artists who apply and are approved can receive grants up to $1,000. Not a big amount, but for many, a start. It's going to help me stay afloat. Uh, it can help me, uh, you know, create more web classes. Just about as soon as I found out about um, Arts Now doing this um, artist relief fund, I jumped on it as soon as possible. The artists can use the money for work-related supplies, equipment, or software, but it can also go towards basic needs like rent, childcare even food. We care so much and it isn't enough, but we just want you to know that we're working day in and day out for more money and for more support. And Dan says that support during these uncertain times is critical. I encourage people to find creative ways to support artists, whether financially. In Akron, Bob Jones, News 5.